The Attorney General of India today defended the central government's 2016 demonetization policy before a constitution bench of the Supreme Court. The Attorney General told the court that the larger benefits brought into the economic system by the demonetization policy is incomparable to the one-time hardships faced by the individuals. He also said that the impact on individuals, which is now being pointed out, has already come to an end. Therefore, there is no continuing wrong that would require any engagement by the court. According to the AG, the need to have the judicial scrutiny of the demonetization policy and its impact has now become moot. The AG also said that it's a misconceived statement to say that demonetization could not achieve its stated objectives. According to him, if it's seen from a larger perspective of larger economic and social benefits, then one can hardly say that demonetization as a measure failed. The AG submissions before the top court have come one day after former finance minister and senior advocate Peach Tambra had argued before the top court that demonetization policy was brought in following the most outrageous decision-making process and was like making mockery of the rule of law of the country. The constitution bench today put important questions to the AG and also asked him to respond to the arguments that were put forth by Mr. Sudhambaram with regard to the procedure being followed and central government's power under the RBI Act to bring in such a policy. The court will continue to hear the Attorney General's arguments in December 1st week. From New Delhi, this is Trishti Ojha, India Today.